Good evening, everyone. Um, well, it's evening here. Uh, April the 4th, 5th, April the 5th. I'm currently loading up a bisque kiln. I've got uh, the canisters to put in. They have to dry, so we're holding off the bisque firing until these guys get settled down. Um, next couple of videos. Sorry, I got to put this in the uh, next couple of videos I'm going to be making I guess they're going going the videos are going to the birds <laughs> I don't know what I was saying anyway going to make some bird houses in this video I don't know if you can see that that's a sketch this is uh, like last year's version ugly glaze job but uh, it's got a little twig out in front and uh, the wren house is really um, anyway we'll get started um, I'm using a brown clay for these this is a standard ceramics speckled brown cone six glaze Fire everything comes six, so um, there we go. Get you down here where you can see what we're doing. There we go. All right. Switching over from uh, Kind of a whitish colored clay to a brown clay. I didn't really clean up very well, but we'll get the job done. This clay is a quite a bit stiffer than the uh, B-Mix. And it's got a lot of grog in it too. Or magnesium or something. I'm not sure what uh, causes the speckles. So the bottom of the the birdhouse is really just a bowl, and then the, the lid and the top notch are uh, they're thrown separately and added later. I think I'm going to make them bigger this year than I did last year. I had some people questioning whether they were big enough for the wren. I used to make wooden wren houses and it would have been plenty big enough, but we will see.
that's your basic uh, bottom to the rent house. Flip that over and and uh, trim the bottom so it's got a nice round shape to it. But, and I usually put some uh, throw marks in after I or while I'm trimming, so it's got some design to it. Right now it's just a just a bowl. So that's the base. Well, my cutoff wire is not here. <laughs> Hang on a second. So that's the uh, the bottom of the birdhouse. And I'm going to switch gears here and get to a, I can make a bunch of them in a hurry. So that was uh, a pound and a half of clay and I've got a, a pound here to make the lid and the, and the top nut. So. That clay is stiff. All right, so we're gonna put the make the top notch first. It's just like throwing off the hump here. I'll put a wire down through this, the, the uh, top of the uh, little knob there and uh, we'll put a, a nut on the bottom of it and that's what will hold it up in the tree. So. that off of there. I'll use this guy. 
some water on it. And it's stuck. Come on. We're going to trim that anyway. Okay. So we got that off of there. And we're going to make a lid over the roof. Actually, throwing this upside down. So. Okay, so that's the basic shape, and we'll refine it more once it's set up, and uh, I can trim the underside of it and add the knob. So that's what we're doing with these guys. I'll show you how to do all that other stuff tomorrow. So,
this. This guy here, if I can keep it on there without dropping it, will be on the bird house. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. Okay, here we go. This is going to go on here like that and create the roof. So, I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. Uh, everybody stay safe. We will be back in touch.